May 2023, I created a new PvP alt and headed with my holding alt straight to army in low sec with the goal of surviving solo against all odds while making some kills. In this video, I'm showing you some changes to my Brutex fitting based on your feedback. By the way, thanks for that. And I'll answer a few questions and comments from the last video. And yes, I did it. I bought that amazing Brutex police skin. I mean, that's totally crazy because I spent 2 billion on that. But isn't that one of the best skins? Hell, I love this one. I mean, look at that. By the way, some of you asked me why I named my ship something like AC that doesn't stand for autocannon or something like that. It's just because I'm a big fan of AC Milan and I try to be in the San Siro Stadium as often as I can. So here's some views from the last Champions League game if you're interested in that. But now let's start with a comment from Grand Hero. I don't know how to pronounce that, but Grand Hero wrote... Um, let's have a look. So here we go. I love the Brutex, I always thought it was underrated too, although I use mine for ranged PvE. And it's funny, you're the third source, but first video this month that told me it was a brawler. And then he said, anyone can kill a venture, let's see you kill the bad guys in low. Well, hmm. first of all, Thanks for that feedback. Only for the records, he saw my Brutex killing a venture, but to be honest, I believe that is one of the biggest misunderstandings in EVE Online. If a player is able to take down another ship, in that case a Brutex versus a venture, depends on two things. One, the fitting, and two, the player skills. And I don't believe just anyone, like Grand Hero commented, can kill a venture in low sec. Let's go and check that. Usually you will land maybe 15 up to 20 kilometers off when you warp in your Brutex to a belt to catch a Venture. Let's do that with the Brutex and attack that Venture. The Venture pilot sees the Brutex coming. I mean, at this point the Venture pilot can easily warp away. But let's stay and start orbiting with the Venture. Venture starts orbiting and the Brutex fires. The Venture orbits out of web range and my guns will not be able to hit that Venture. There's not a single hit. I mean, you know, speed tanking is always an impressive tactic. Let's start a drone to attack that Venture. As you can see, also the drone is too slow to follow my venture, but to be honest, that's my battle venture fit. With a speed of uh, 2900, so that's very fast. I fitted an overdrive system to increase the speed of my venture. Of course, that's usually not fitted in a mining venture, so let's turn that off and see what'll happen. Hmm, speed is going down to uh, 2400. That venture is running now only on an MWD fitting. That's a more realistic picture. Well, but the Brutex is still not hitting the venture. And let's tackle him. And let's attack the Brutex, but, well, hmm, I mean, okay, that's useless. The Brutex has two webs fitted and he can kill the drones very easily. And in case the Brutex doesn't have any webs fitted, I maybe need hours to break that 200,000 EHP Brutex tank with that Venture. I don't think it will work to kill that Brutex with a Venture, but I can hope that Brutex tackled forever with my Venture. So I call for some backup and the Brutex will be dead. The Venture is now so close that I can web it. I go to overheat the webs and try to catch it. With the links, the web range of the Brutex increases and slow down the Venture. The speed of the venture decreases by 50%. I activate the MWD and try to get closer to him with the Brutex second web.
but I'm still not fast enough to get as close as I need to. I have one web on him, slowed the venture down to 50% speed, but I can't come closer at the moment. So let's degroup the guns, because I don't actually want to kill my own venture, and let's see if I can hit it. No, even the venture is slowed down by one of the blue ticks webs. I can't manage to hit it. Even when I activate all guns, the venture is safe and the brutex can't get any closer. So you see, the statement anyone can kill a venture is not entirely true, but hey, what could I do with the brutex to take down the venture now? Here's the deal with which you maybe manage that. First, try to get closer. I always carry two drugs with me, always have that in your cargo. One for the speed and one for DPS. I would overheat the MWD of the Brutex and switch to better tracking ammo. For a brief moment, I would be faster than the Venture and I would likely get close enough to apply the second Weber. If the Venture pilot doesn't notice my speed increase quickly and ASAP starts overheating his MWD, the Venture will be dead. Look at that! That's my battle Venture and I did a lot of kills with it. Next feedback is from Estadal, and both commented the video with You can Abyssal roll that damage control and get some more EHP really cheap. That's a very cool feedback, thank you guys. So I removed the damage control too and rolled some new damage control. My EHP increases from 200,000 EHP to 217,000 EHP and that's a very huge impact and very cheap, so thanks for that. Michal Kalowski said you can push web range even more with skirmish link in high slot. I was flying solar brutex a lot and I can tell you this fit will die to kiters. Thank you, I fitted that. Here is the new fitting. Let's shortly overheat the guns. I have around 860 DPS. And you know, with some extra DPS drugs and implants, you will increase that DPS to reach nearly... Mm. I think around 1000 DPS and I have a crazy huge 218,000 EHP tank. If I overheat the warp disruptor and I can look onto targets that are 34 kilometers away. <laughs> look at this, if I overheat the Weber with that skirmish support, by the way my skirmish skills are not that good and I use T1, I think it can go even further, I can web targets that are 22 kilometers away. So that's it, the Brutex Beast, built with your feedback, to be honest, I love it. I mean, many of you have said that the Brutex would lose against every kiter, well, I don't believe it would lose to everyone, but of course, against many, for sure, there will always be one ship in EVE Online that will lose to another. As I said, it depends on the fitting and the PvP skills of the player. Here's the deal with the Brutex, though. I believe with this Brutex you can fight very well against a Drake, a Rupture, against a Hurricane and so on, and perhaps even take down some poorly fitted battleships. We'll see. And hey, definitely buy that amazing looking police skin, even if it's expensive. You know, better crash stylish through space. It's like a Porsche in the fast lane in real life.